or it's been hot. <laughs> it has been hot. The only way to put it. So right. Right. I was going to say. I just stay inside. I can't go outside right now. I and know. our makeup artist, Lynn, her AC broke. It's, I know. Oh, no. yeah. And they can't come yeah. until tomorrow. Yes, oh. that's so horrible. Because it's I'm a holiday. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Gosh. a lot of people are dealing with that right now. Yeah. Just never turning off the AC. Yes, that what is not do? something you want to deal with in conditions like this. You go I to know. the movies. That's what you do. <laughs> that's what you, you do. You do a double feature. I took Lily out. <laughs> I took Lily out to go to the bathroom yesterday. I said, we're going to make this a quick one. I can't, I can't stay outside too long. Got to go back in the air conditioning. Uh, all right, good morning, everybody. Yes, so we have another round of heat for this Labor Day. But you know what? If you're hoping to get outside this morning, maybe do some exercise this morning, outdoors get out soon rather than sooner rather than later because you know what temperatures are going to warm up as we head later into this morning and into this afternoon currently we're feeling lots of 60s across southern california uh, even some lower 70s as we head out towards santa Ana and then farther east toward the inland empire a lot of 60s out there 68 for our friends in riverside to start off your morning and up in the higher elevations we have 45 degrees uh, up in big bear city so again the big weather story away from the coast this labor day will be the heat we have heat advisories in place for the mountain communities of Southern California, the Santa Clarita Valley, Inland Orange County, the Inland Empire, and then farther east, we have the successive heat warning. This is actually with us through Tuesday evening, so this is for the deserts of San Bernardino County. So, well, what does this mean? We have temperatures into the triple digits for a lot of our inland spots. It's not going to be as hot as what we felt yesterday, but still warm, still above average. And when we have conditions like this, you want to try to stay inside, uh, stay hydrated, because heat related illness is possible when we have conditions like this. So we also do have a beach hazard statement. If you are headed out toward the coast today, something to be aware of. Surf three to five feet, dangerous rip currents possible, and that's from Ventura County southward into San Diego County. Here's our future cast and what you can expect as far as temperatures this afternoon. We will be in the upper 80s to lower 90s through the metro areas, upper 90s to triple digits far inland for the valleys, 103 in Lancaster, and then temperatures along the coast in the 70s and lower 80s. By this evening, if you're hoping to have dinner outside, we've got temperatures dropping down mostly into the 70s for areas west of the mountains, lower 80s in areas like San Bernardino. Here's your seven day forecast for the beaches, the basin and the valleys. We've got lower 80s this afternoon at the coast, upper 80s in LA and Orange County Metro. 103 is your high in the valleys. We will knock down those temperatures by a few degrees as we head into tomorrow. Still quite warm for our inland spots. What we will feel as we head into the middle and end of the week, an increase in monsoon of moisture, so more humidity, and we have shower and thunderstorm chances, mainly for the mountain and desert communities. Back to you.